Hello YouTube, this is Joey, back for Vlogtober once again, and today I'm going to talk about anarchy very quickly. I'm going to try and make this a short video. I'm going to look at the time. It's 11.19 a.m. Central Standard Time. Actually, Central Daylight Time, because Standard Time doesn't start till November. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to try and make this under five minutes. So, anarchy, go. Today's topic is anarchy. Uh, the reason I'm talking about anarchy is because uh, I've been watching a lot of videos by a man named Stefan or Stefan Molyneux. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel called uh, Stefbot, S-T-E-F-B-O-T, and I will link to that below. Um, the reason I'm bringing it up is because uh, I have kind of a fundamental disagreement with uh, Stefan, and that is uh, I don't think that anarchy would work uh, not in a thousand years. Uh, give us a thousand years? Maybe. But not right now. And uh, here, So here's why I think that. Uh, for the type of anarchy to work the way Stefan thinks it should work or that it's going to work or whatever, uh, you would need uh, everybody to be kind of on the same page. Everybody would have to have a similar set of values. They would have to have a, 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 a similar uh, understanding of, of rights and uh, freedoms and um, morals. I uh, hate using that word, but uh, that's the only way I think I can put it. Um, everyone would have to agree that killing is bad, so and that violence is bad, and things like that. And we are nowhere near that at all, period, end of discussion. <laughs> uh, all you have to do is look at um, uh, places where uh, government, the state, has fallen apart. Afghanistan, Iraq, um, Somalia, um, Yemen, I mean, j just look at these countries right now. They're, I mean, they're in utter chaos, and uh, they're basically run by small factions and warlords and things like that, uh, because the governments in those areas, uh, to a lesser extent Iraq now, but immediate, and immediately, you know, after our invasion, uh, it was just utter chaos, and people were doing whatever, and uh, it was just rampant violence. And uh, I think that um, you would have a similar, a similar, a similar situation here uh, if you were to take the government away. So uh, that's why I think I think the violence is is where um, we would really lose ourselves. So in a state of anarchy. So I think the, the government uh, plays an essential role in uh, maintaining uh, peaceful relations between people. And the, the reason, that, that's the main reason that I, I think that, that, uh, that I don't agree with Stefan's point of view. I think he has a lot of great points. I, I love to live in his world but uh, you would require this, like I said, this certain set of values, a certain set of morals, uh, this certain level of education, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and that's why I said maybe in a thousand years, maybe in a thousand years, uh, generation after generation after generation of, uh, of re-education, of re-indoctrination of the population, uh, we could get to that point where um, we no longer needed a state to uh, keep us from killing each other. But <laughs> um, I just don't see it. I mean, if you, if you, even if you look in the United States, uh, places where uh, the government breaks down, like uh, uh, New Orleans, post Katrina, in the immediate aftermath. I mean, the government broke down. There's you know people out looting and doing all this stuff and. Um, uh, people needed help and they couldn't get help. People needed food and they couldn't get food. Um, police ran amok. Uh, were shooting people. You know, and and they they were the supposed authority figures or whatever. But uh, you know, without somebody, without that uh, strong, uh, you know, uh, chain of command above them, they started to get out of hand. So. I think that um, we are just not ready 
for anarchy. We're just not. We're not ready. We're not going to be ready. We're not going to be ready within my lifetime. We're not going to be ready within the theoretical span of my children, if I ever had children. Um, they, it's it's going to be hundreds, if not thousands of years, before we would be ready for something like that. It would take a fundamental shift in the education and the environment that we grow up in. It would it would take a, a fundamental shift. And that, that's, that's, I don't see that coming down the pipe anytime soon. So, uh, Stefan, if you happen to see this, or Stefan, I'm sorry, uh, if you happen to see this video, let me know what you think of that. Uh, I'd love to know what your timeline is for your ideas. Do you think this can happen within our lifetimes uh, or our children's lifetimes? Uh, when, when do you think this would happen? Because I don't see it happening anytime soon. And uh, if you do want it to happen within our lifetimes, how would you address my concerns, especially the concerns of violence? Because it's going to take, it, it would take generations, and uh, the older generations would have to die off. They would have to go away for, and, and these new generations would have to uh, arise that were anti violence and all this kind of thing. So, anyway, my time is up. Uh, my self-imposed timeline is up and so that's all I'm going to say about anarchy for today maybe uh, if anybody has any interesting questions they can come back and talk to me about it anyway today peace out talk to you later